Whoa, seems I've walked into a trap. I'm not really sure you understand how this works. How deep was that bucket? Ahoy, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today we're gonna have some fun with a 20 pound boat anchor. I'm not really sure what's inside this thing, but I'm gonna guess it's lead. There was a warning label on it that said it may cause cancer, so I'm guessing lead is inside it. We're gonna set it up, shoot it with a few small calibers and then work our way up to the 50 BMG. Okay, we got the anchor set up. We're gonna start out with a 22 long rifle and we'll be using a Ruger LCR 22. Looks like uh, we just hit the edge. We'll shoot it one more time. <laughs> now we hit the other edge. One more time. And that time we hit the very tippy top. We hit everywhere but where I was aiming. I'm telling you, this thing's not very accurate. Okay, we hit here, here, and here. All three hits did nothing to that anchor. Now let's hit it with nine millimeter. I have a Glock 19 and we're gonna be loaded up with some 124 grain full metal jackets. I'm telling you, that little 22 is not accurate. See, I hit exactly where I was aiming that time. With that 22, I can't hit anything. Okay, we hit right here, and again, it doesn't look like we did anything to that boat anchor. Now let's hit it with 10 millimeter, and we'll be using our CMMG Banshee. So the 10 mil did absolutely nothing to that boat anchor. Now let's step it up to something a little bit bigger. This is a Magnum Research Desert Eagle chambered in 429 DE, and we'll be loaded up with some 240 grain jacketed flat points. This anchor is proving to be pretty tough. We hit right here, there's a little bit of a dent, but that's about it. This boat anchor is proving to be pretty tough, so we gotta get tougher. How about a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum Performance Center with a 10 and a half inch barrel, and we're gonna use the biggest round you can get for this thing, the Underwood Ammo 700 grain hard cast. <laughs> Did we break it? So we smacked the anchor with the 700 grain hard cast and again, no real damage to this anchor. All right, now how about an AR-15 loaded up with some 223 full metal jackets. Okay, well, it looks like we actually did something that time. There's where we hit with the 223, and you can see there's a pretty good crater in that anchor. Now let's see how it holds up against 308. We'll be using an FN SCAR 17, and we'll be loaded up with some 150 grain full metal jackets. <laughs> Woo! I hit that pretty hard. So we hit right here, and the 308 left a pretty big crater in this anchor. This anchor's pretty tough, so I'm tired of playing games. We're gonna go ahead and step it up to the 50 BMG. We have a Serbu BFG 50A, and we're gonna be loaded up with an armor-piercing incendiary tracer. Well, that anchor was pretty tough, but it's no match for the 50 PMG. Looks like we have a nice clean hole all the way through it. I hit it in the thickest spot possible and we cut right through that thing. That is crazy. Let's set this back up and go ahead and shoot this other side. This time, let's just use a full metal jacket.
Okay, well, I'm not really sure where the anchor is. Here's what's left of it. Um, here's the centerpiece. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure where the rest of that anchor went. It's safe to say that it is not 50 BMG proof. Well, that's it for today's video. The boat anchor was a lot tougher than I thought it would be. It stopped everything except the 50 BMG, but I didn't really expect it to stop the 50 BMG. There's not a whole lot that can. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. And while you're at it, share today's video with a friend. Also, be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.